In the first video for this module, I mentioned that DNA has two specific tasks that we were going to be concerned with. The first task was that um, protein synthesis occurs within the cell and the DNA codes for all of those proteins. So that was what we spent the last couple of days talking about. The other task is that when the cell is going to divide because the organism is growing, um, the DNA is going to have to be duplicated so that each cell will have a copy of it. Um, if you don't have the instructions um, for the cell to carry out everything that it needs to do, the cell is not going to be able to continue living. So that's what we're going to be talking about, that particular task for the rest of the module now, and that we're going to be talking about how the, the DNA is duplicated for the new cells that are going to, um, that are going to need copies of it. All right, so cells have a life cycle, a cell, cell cycle that they're going to go through, and it's made up of two specific phases. The first is called interphase, and the second is called the mitotic phase. Now, interphase is where cells spend the vast majority of their time. That's when um, they're just living and they're just, they're just doing life. And so interphase is divided into three components. G1 is just basic cell growth. And like I said, that's where, where the cells just live in life. It's making proteins, it's getting rid of waste, it's bringing in food, it's, you know, if it's a plant cell, it's pumping out water, it's doing whatever it needs to do in order just to keep growing. The S phase stands for synthesis. And the synthesis is where the cell actually replicates or makes a copy of its DNA in preparation for the cell to divide and to reproduce. Now, if you consider the piece that I had up here um, before when I was explaining protein synthesis, I showed you that DNA had two sides to it, and um, I showed you how just a portion of it kind of split apart. Well, in DNA replication, we don't want just a piece of it, we want a copy of all of it. So all of it is gonna split apart, and so I'm gonna have one strand over here and one strand over here. Now, this strand, is going to, just like we talked about when we um, talked about protein synthesis, I have to have nucleotide bases that are gonna come in and match up with every single nucleotide base on the strand. So wherever there's um, a cytosine, a guanine will come in. Wherever, wherever there's a guanine, a cytosine will come in. Wherever there's an adenine, a thymine will come in. Remember, we're replicating DNA, so I'm not gonna be using uracil this time. And wherever there's a, um, a, a thymine, an adenine's gonna come in. So this side of the DNA is going to have um, all these new nucleotide bases come in. This side of the DNA is going to have the same thing happen to it, and it's going to match up with all these nucleotide bases. And so you're going to have an old strand that's going to match up with a new strand. These two are going to bond together, and they're going to be um, a brand new strand of DNA. And then this strand is going to match up with new nucleotide bases and then you're going to have an old the old strand and the new strand and it's going to make its own new um, double helix of dna so i've got two double helixes of dna they are then going to um they're, they're both going to be available then and, and duplicated so that it is possible um, for this whole cell to 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 reproduce now that's dna replication g2 is when the organelles also have to duplicate. Um, you'll remember, duplication, get that word up there. Um, the organelles, every cell is gonna have to have Golgi bodies, they're gonna have to have endoplasmic reticulum, they're gonna have to have vacuoles, they're gonna have to have all that sort of stuff in order to survive. So the organelles also are going to have to be duplicated before the cell is actually going to divide. Once I get through this, then I go into what's called the mitotic phase. And the mitotic phase is the active part of cell division. So I've got four phases, four basic phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Prophase is where all of your chromatin is going to condense. So if you think about all these long strands of DNA, it has to condense so that it's much easier for the cell to reproduce. The way I kind of think about it is, you know, right now I've got my hair down and long. If I'm gonna go uh, run or weight lift, or if I'm gonna clean the house, or if I'm gonna make bread, 
Um, I'm gonna make dinner in the kitchen. I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna pull it up in a ponytail so that I get it out of my way so I don't get hair in the bread so that it's not flopping in my face when I'm running. Um, and so I'm gonna pull my hair back up out of the way. And so I kind of think about prophase almost kind of in the same way where the chromatin, is, which is in these really long strands, is gonna have to kind of bunch itself up and condense so that the cell can actually get itself divided and I just don't have some tangled mess of chromatin. Okay, so in prophase, the way that I remember this is the cell has to prepare to divide in half, to duplicate, and so the chromatids are going to condense. Okay, so the chromatin condenses, and then they are joined together at the centromere. Now, in metaphase, what happens is that all of those chromatids line up along the equatorial plane. So if you think about a globe and you know where the equator is, um, think about the, um, the cell kind of looking like this big globe and in metaphase they're all going to be lined up across the middle so the n in metaphase stands for middle and the chromatids are all going to be all lined up okay chromatids lined up okay in anaphase Anaphase stands for, the A in anaphase, I remember, stands for apart. So there, the chromatids, remember I told you there were two chromatids and they were joined by a centromere. They're actually going to pull away and they're going to separate from each other. So the chromatids pull apart and start to move apart from each other. And then finally, in telophase, um, I'm going to construct a new nuclear membrane. Now in prophase, I had to break that nuclear membrane down because I'm going to take my condensed chromatin and it's got to get out in the middle of the cell with everything else so that everything can be duplicated. So um, in telophase, everything is pulled apart. The cytokinesis is when the cytoplasm um, also pinches into two parts and usually telophase and cytokinesis happen at the same time. So here, um, everything separates um, a new nuclear membrane reassembles itself and the cell divides into two and that's when the cell then says ta-da because it has now finished the process of, of cell duplication the DNA replication it's divided into two cells it started with one parent cell one mother cell and now it's broken down into two daughter cells okay so just to Again, the, the chromatin has to condense. That's how it prepares in prophase, in metaphase. The chromatids all line up in the middle. In anaphase, they start pulling apart. And then telophase and cytokinesis is when everything um, divides apart, the nuclear membrane reassembles, and the cell goes, ta-da, and, it, and it's all finished, okay? Now, I have sent you links um, to some pictures where you can see actual cells under the microscope going through mitotic division. It is fascinating to actually realize that every one of the cells in our bodies is going to do this at some point. So make sure that you um, click on those links and watch them because I really want you to be able to see it happening um, in an actual cell and not just in drawings and words and descriptions, but to actually see it happening, okay? So that is mitosis. And then we're going to move from here on to meiosis.